from the brainchild of Yellow Card TCG, cordially welcoming you guys to hopefully spur us on as we delve into the Vanguard Premier League. Hi everyone, my name is JJ, nice to meet all of you. Uh, we are going to be taking part in this Vanguard Premier League over the next couple of weeks, facing against all walks of life of competition, from the casual competitive like you like your Australia to the competitive competitive of world finalists who have taken part in a Bush Road Championship Series earlier this year in February. We're going to be seeing all aspects, people who are online warriors, offline warriors, all coming together to take part in this remote event. So don't you miss it. Well, first things first, let's take a look at our teammates. My teammates. <laughs> <laughs> members of the neighborhood watch people who are spurned on by the passion of community the sense of being able to challenge against others we celebrate their strategy the thrill the camaraderie that you build within the team working together towards a goal let's see what they have to say hello there people my name is Chase and I'm one of the many Vanguard players that are going to be participating in the upcoming Vanguard Premier League, an online team battle tournament that's going to be hosted over Discord. And I'm part of Team Neighborhood Watch. And in this video, I would like to give a short introduction of myself and to let you know what kind of a player and person I am. So I've actually just started playing Vanguard in November 2022. So I guess it's only been a year and a half. So I'm a baby in terms of Vanguard age. My first decks were the Shaman King Trial deck and Chrono Jet back then. And then after that, I met the love of my life in Vanguard, Michiru. And I've never really looked back since. I played, I main Dredjewel in, um, in JP and in English because I have to participate in both of the languages tournament as well. So I suppose a bit of my, about myself as a person and a player is that I am extremely hyper competitive in the things that I do in life because uh, I just, I'm just obsessed with kind of being the best in um, everything I do and also just being as correct as possible in everything I do. So that's sort of a a thing that I have uh, sort of, um, which as you can see it may be a bit oxymoronic uh, because my favorite deck that I main is Dredjewel which wasn't ex very good um, so I suppose like this is just my ego talking because I just refuse to bring any decks that I am not passionate about into any sort of real tournaments so there's just got to be a little bit of ego in everything that um, we do, I suppose. Um, my best achievement in the game competitively would be getting fourth place in last year's BCS uh, in Spain, in D standard. I even got, uh, kept this little um, top, uh, top deck uh, paper deck check um, just to keep it as a memento in the same deck box as well. Extremely disappointing because um, I didn't win because it's always win or bust for me on a personal level but objectively speaking it was an achievement that I was extremely happy with because I was able to put Virtual on the map before it got the Ignis stuff, before it got good. So that's, uh, that's something that I was really happy about. Um, and after after that, ar around this year, I started dabbling into premium as well because I figured that I just cannot improve in the game fundamentally if I just keep playing D standard all the fucking time. Um, and also, I really like um, you know a lot of the Vanguard stuff, uh, old Vanguards like Luat and you know Kazuma. I'm even interested in. Uh, playing some Sharrod as my next premium deck or maybe V premium deck. I'm not sure. That's also something I would like to dabble in eventually. So yeah, this is why I'm as a person, um, just someone that's a little bit too obsessed with anime boys in general. But you know, in Vanguard specifically, that would be Michiru. Um, I hope that I would be uh, I would be able to have a lot of fun um, getting to meet a lot of new people in this 
Premier League and yeah, I've been really blessed to be able to enjoy this this hobby and, and this to be a, and be a part of this community. Thank you for listening and have a good one. Hello, fellow Vanguard players. My name is Alex. I am playing Vanguard for a very long time already. I am playing mostly Bermuda and Lyrica decks. I have one or other top card under my belt and I am participating at this Premier League for um, additional practice and this event-like character. And I'm really looking forward to this. Hi, I'm Alex. Um, I'm from the UK. Um, I primarily play Kato Sanctuary. Um, I just like to improve and I take, and I take criticism and feedback to improve as well. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Hey, I'm Curly from the Neighborhood Watch team in the Vanguard Premier League. I run the YouTube channel Curly here at Vanguard, which covers everything Vanguard related. I've started playing the game since 2020 with Vanguard Zero, and then started playing the physical version with Overdress once that started. I've been playing the game non-stop since then, and I've actually been a huge fan of this series way before that. Right when it first started in 2011, I just never had a chance to actually play the game until 10 years later. My favorite clans are Pale Moon and Nova Grappler, and my favorite unit from the D series is the Master of Gravity Barrow Magus. I have a lot of different philosophies when it comes to Vanguard. For example, I want Vanguard to be experienced by all, but mostly in whatever way they desire to experience it, as long as they're not causing any harm to themselves or others. This extends into playing whatever deck you want to play, regardless of the situation, the format, etc., as long as you can enjoy playing it and can make it work. And even if you can't make it work, you'll either learn to make it work, or decide to play something else, but at the end of the day, you just play Vanguard your way. As a player, I'd say I'd rank myself somewhere in the middle of C rank, and my greatest strengths probably come with my massive knowledge of the D-Series library, as I know just about every single card that's been released, and also in my deck building. While I maybe don't build the best decks that are going to win every single event, I just really enjoy deck building and trying out different builds. That's all I can really think to say about myself Vanguard wise. Other than that, I like dogs, strawberries, and strong women. Now prepare for trouble. I'm Caleb, otherwise known as Mocha or Nautan. I've been playing the game of Vanguard since 2011 when it was first released, back in the JP edition of the game before it moved over to the English former. I'm a competitive player with topping events in the recent years of Vanguard, Weiss and Shadowverse Evolve all in the Bushy Road TCG scene. I'm a Lua player for the D standards format, and with my go-to deck I prayed for a Gabriel deck set one day. As someone who has played the league for Weisswatch a few times under the Juicebox organization, I've mostly had a standard go-to momentum of what I want to play, and I want everyone to be themselves, to play what they want to play. There's nothing more for this game for everyone to get to enjoy what they want to play. Which is why I just love my Gavriel deck so much in premium. It's such a beautiful thing for seeing that everyone to be happy to play to the best of themselves and just to be comfortable doing so. I like myself. I was just waiting for that Gavriel and that Gavriel is always going to come. The Gavriel will come. And that's all I can say, shout out for myself from there, I'm afraid. But look at my Star Destroyer! It's beautiful! And there we go, I'm gonna be having my double trouble partner, my other Callum. That's gonna be with me during this team event. You prepare for trouble, but now you've gotta make it double. I am Callum. Oh am, no! Of course, also a Vanguard player. We're both here for the Neighbourhood Watch for the Vanguard Premier League this season, the inaugural season. Something very exciting. Um. I also started Vanguard back around 2011, but I definitely did not play all the way through. I had a massive break in V, but now I'm back. No thanks to JJ, actually, and a couple of the other captains, Phil as well. Both of you wrapped me back, pulled me back into Vanguard, 
for better or for worse. But we're here anyways. So, in terms of decks currently, of course, we got to love my goats. Because who doesn't love some Bandori, right? But the one thing that's going to happen, right? Because I'm here. I agree about the Gavriel deck set. We need it. But if we do ever get it, if we do, do ever get it, the insane amount of money I will spend will probably render me homeless. But it doesn't matter because that's not what we're here for exactly today. The main thing for me, I guess, is when it comes to Vanguard, not only am I here not on the most competitive level in the world, but doesn't mean I won't kick your ass. And that's all I really have to say on the matter. So we're going to send it back to both of us. And we're going to say Roll it back. to all of you, best of luck. You're going to need it. Uh, hello, this is Radiant Braun for Team Neighborhood Watch. Uh, I don't have much to say about my intro video other than I hope to play some good games and learn a lot. And Bruce number one. <laughs> hello, team. My name is Go. I reside in Belgium. Um, I've been playing Vanguard since the very beginning. Uh, I took a hiatus. Uh, in the middle of uh, Limit Break era, I came back during um, during Legion era, then took a hiatus again, uh, mainly because of high school. Um, then during Mid V, I came back to the game, started playing competitively uh, about four years ago in the middle of um, in the middle of COVID. My first competitive season was BRO. My second BRO I judged. Um, that was my first judging season as well. Um, I haven't topped one of them. I have te technically topped an FRF uh, premium with Victor. Um, no major events yet, though. I basically try to participate in as many uh, major events as I can. I do uh, play BSFMD and BCSs um, every so often. Uh, I try to participate in at least four every season. Um, my best actual competitively uh, competitive season was last year at BS, uh, BCS Wales, where I got 14 by using uh, my my basically my signature clan Narukami. Premium is my fa is my favorite and uh, primary format. Um, like I said earlier, Narukami is my main deck. Um, on the side, I do like to play a standard, like for example, this tournament. Um, uh, I've basically been dabbling in a lot of standard. I do like the Divines format right now. Before, I did think that uh, the D series was a little bit, a little bit boring. Um, Divines at 2 has a lot of cool things in common. Right now, I'm mainly playing Lord and obviously Vermilion because it's my favorite unit. Uh, it's my also my signature unit and my avatar. My primary goal for the tournament is to have fun and obviously also to win the games. My Obviously my goal is to at least go equal, preferably win all my games, but I know that's basically impossible. However, I will try my best every game. Uh, for the rest, uh, what do I like to do? I um, What would I like to do with the team? Just basically have fun. There's a lot of people in our team that I do now. Um, so it's kind of fun to at least be able to uh, talk about it in the, at like different tournaments. Like I'm, for example, looking to forward to talking to some of our teammates during the BSFs, uh, the upcoming BSFs, and obviously have some fun with the rest of the team. Anyway, team, good luck. So, but. Hi, I'm Romain, aka Gargatsan. I'm a French player. I've been playing this game since 2017. Um, I'm a gold pad in Maine. I've been playing this clan for the entirety of the time I've played the game. Um, for Standard, I've been switching on and off of uh, Dark States and Chaos Sanctuary. I'm a competitive player. I've been playing the game competitively since um, 2020. I've been to uh, Worlds this year in 2024 for V Premium uh, with Garget, my main deck. Um, 
I'm someone who likes helping other people um, play the game and help them develop into competitive player. I like to introduce them and help guide them to becoming better. My main format is Premium. I've been playing a lot of it. Um, but recently, with the arrival of DZBT1, I've been starting to test and play more and more standard and liking it a lot. My main standard deck for now is Direful Dolls. I've also been playing the um, Bang Dream collab decks, Morphonica and Maigo, and finding them really fun. My main goal coming into this league is going to be to get to fight um, different players and learn from them and also meet new players. Um, get to bond as a team and um, just get better together and try to win. So with that said, I hope everyone has a great tournament and we all get to have fun together. Hello everyone, uh, Gisa here and I am here announcing that I got drafted into the neighborhood. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, uh, JG is a great captain, we're gonna have a ton of fun. But at the same time, we're gonna we're gonna try to do our best. And I'm here. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm Chilean, so I'm gonna bring some South American flair to to the competition, and let's hope we win some games. Uh, so yeah, see y'all in the neighborhood. Hi, I'm Will. Uh, I'm 19, I'm from the UK, uh, I joined the Vanguard Premier League uh, to become better at Vanguard, like mainly, and to like meet new people in the community. Hello, I'm Starling, and um, I am a very recent card game pickupper. I've been playing Vanguard for well, less than two years now, and I've been playing no other card games before them. Um, I have competitive experience with like non-card games that goes pretty deep. I got very addicted to some other things, but I like the tangibility of card games and how you can go through customizing a lot of different things without necessarily needing to do this, the most strategically important thing at all times. And you can still work on optimizing your gameplay even when you're not playing something super optimal. It's also nice how there's a lot of room for skill expression in different dimensions. Like you can be someone who's very good at understanding game systems and putting together lists that work really well. And you can be someone who is very good at piloting lists and those can be mutually exclusive or dynamically involved. Um, I'm neither of those people, but I'm working on it. And I'm looking forward to seeing what other people can do. Hey guys, I'm Yami Siro, a Norwegian card fighter who's been playing Vanguard since the start. I'm really excited to be part of this event as I do enjoy meeting new card fighters across the globe. A lot of people might know me, especially European people, um, as that tall Norwegian guy who never tends to top. To my dismay, uh, I get to hear it a lot from my friends uh, they keep going on about not taking Dark Irregulars uh, to BCSs, but, you know, Dark Irregular is best deck, we all know this. Uh, and that's where my strong suit lies, Dark Irregular and Dark State Clans. My favorite units is Amon and Shaharot. Those are just, hands down, top tier units of all time. I'm also really good with Baron Magnus. Baron Magnus has been best deck. Uh, I'm going to try to not keep this too long, but three years ago, I came to London. Uh, my skill sets within Vanguard has really grown having access to locals, as Norway had a locals, but it's been dying over the past few years, especially during V era and onward. Um, but yeah, I came to London with Baron Magnus. I, uh, <laughs> the Dark Sphere guys will know, I played a lot of Baron Magnus. Um, because, again, Baron Magnus is best deck in D. What can I say? It's just this. Even though it might lack hand advantage. But, hey. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm really again, I'm really excited to play in this event. 
I'm like really excited to experience different play styles, new people, uh, see what's cracking. I'm ready to sack like no tomorrow. I do sack a lot. My teammate Nobby can attest to that. Uh, when I need to, I will flip that double crit or that OT, you know. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this event will be really great. I hope everybody has a good time and I can't wait to see what everybody has to bring to the table. All right, what's going on, guys? I just woke up from a 14-hour coma after coming from work and I'm pretty sure there is a deadline due on this summary of a player. So who am I? I bet you're excited to find out. First up, I'm going to use the James Bond method. Any single person can be categorized into three different adjectives or statements about themselves. One beginning with zero, the other beginning with zero, and the other one beginning with seven. So, I have zero tops, zero game sense, and I've eaten 17 cards. Next up, I'm a Eugene master. I own a max rated Eugene deck, and I only make the best deck lists. Do not go to twitter.com at Rotanks, I think it's like 23. He puts like good cards in his deck. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. It's not good. Don't do not do that. Don't put the good cards in your deck. Like don't try and... You, you have to take all the cards with the storm in their name and fit it in there. And that's the deck. You can't put anything else in there or else like it doesn't work anymore. Um, yeah. Uh, I won locals with Eugene once. That's 100% more Eugene locals wins than any other player in the Vanguard community. Yeah. Uh, in terms of actual good decks, I am Valeno's number one defender. There is no deck that beats this deck. It, it's like, how, how do you kill it? Uh, yeah. Um, don't answer that question. I, I don't want to hear the answer. I, I know there. I, I know there is an answer to that question. I don't want to hear it. Um, don't ask me how I kill when I damage uh, both the Nectars. Um, yeah. I can play Ava. I just need to wait for the check to hit, you know? I just need to wait for my 401k to, to pull through. I just need to wait for, um, uh, uh, for to be able to take out a mortgage on my house. Uh, just, uh, it, it just, like, give me one, give me a few years, and I can probably afford the promos. Uh, I'm in the Zorg waiting room. You know when that DZ02 hits, I'm going to be eating that uh, Zor Calamari. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, and you know, you know that dog I ate? I got four other dogs, and they're in the wood right now. You can catch me. CP1 retiring. Leah fail. Call two dogs from my deck. I'm going to... I'm going to the... <laughs> Call CP1 retire. Leah fail. <laughs> To call two dogs from my deck like I'm going. <laughs> like I'm going to the animal shelter. And <laughs> farming dogs. Uh. <laughs> Alright, lightning around. Fun facts. Uh. I have a benign eye tumor. Uh. that was the end of my presentation i hope you guys had a really good idea of who i am now i had to rush this out i i i i i, I, I forgot I, I i fell asleep at 9 0 12 a uh, p.m yesterday after coming home from work and i just slept for 14 it's it's, it's 2 p.m right now i just woke up like 30 minutes ago i don't know what happened uh, uh, some sort of like ghoul or goblin must have possessed me while i was sleeping but anyway that's the end of my presentation i hope you enjoyed